and then the finale is the 5th of December at Bathurst, so the five days of that Bathurst day. The number of scams detected by NAB has surged 80% compared with last year. As the amount of cash being targeted, in 2019, scammers tried to get their hands on $930 million. In just nine months this year, it was $2.6 billion. The numbers are getting bigger and bigger every year. Telstra alone says it's blocking 12 million Dozzy calls a month, but picking up to an unknown number is still increasingly risky. It's not gullible people. It's not people who are unfamiliar with technology. You know, they tend to be vulnerable, but you know, everyone is potentially exposed. Westpac data shows scammers are trying everything. Attempts to gain personal information using threats or fake penalties, dud investments, dating and romance scams, all surging in the last 12 months. Despite the rising threat, the advice remains the same. Beware of any unexpected communication, never give out personal information via an unsecured channel, or allow remote access to your computer. It's really about talking to friends and family and trusted financial advisors and getting a second opinion. But if you think you've been scammed, our number one advice is to call the bank immediately. Time is really money, and banks will always try and chase money for victims. Chris Kohler, Nine News. IKEA has been forced to recall a popular bookshelf and cabinet over safety concerns. The recall affects Hemi's solid timber bookcase and glass door cabinets sold between 2010 and 2017. There are concerns about defects which could result in shelves falling out. Palm Beach has lost an institution. Its famous fish and chip shop, boasting views of pit water, has been demolished. For decades, it's been a popular hangout for locals and tourists. An application to build luxury apartments there has been withdrawn. The Duchess of Cambridge has proven her mettle on the tennis court, playing a doubles.